All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create a Google form, which is a fantastic way to collect information or data from your students, their parents, and or other teachers. So first thing that you need to do is you need to have a Google account. Now, if you already have a Gmail address, then you have a Google account. Your Google account username is your Gmail address. So if you don't have one yet, you can go to google.com and create an account for free. Once you've done that, go ahead and once you're on google.com, you want to go to the upper right hand corner with the sign in button and click that and that's going to take you to the sign in page. So right here, you're going to want to sign into your Google account by entering your Gmail address here and then your password and then go ahead and click the sign in button. And you can see that it, took, it takes me back to the Google home page, but now you can see in the upper right hand corner, I'm now signed in. Now, if you look in the upper left hand corner, you'll see a listing of the different Google services from search, images, YouTube, uh, Gmail. What you wanna do is click on Drive. Now, Google Drive is kind of formally known as Google Docs. They've now renamed it Google Drive, and this is basically the page here that lists all of your different Google files. So you can see I'll scroll down and it lists all of my different files. Now, for this video, we want to learn how to create a Google form. So in order to create something, I'm going to click on the Create button here. And when you click that, you're going to get a little drop down menu. You have a choice of the different kinds of files that you want to create. We're going to go ahead and click form. So once you click that button, it takes you to a screen that looks like this. Now, Google has recently revamped the interface of Google Forms. So this is what the first thing that you're going to see when you create a form. The first thing you want to do is you're going to want to give your form a title. We're going to go ahead and call ours test form. And then it asks you to select a theme for your form. This is basically what is your live form when you're done going to look like. So you can see by scrolling down, you have a whole bunch of different choices here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just click this one right here, the header blue theme. And before I click OK, I just want to let you know, if you decide to change the theme later, you can always change your mind and change to a different theme later. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one for now and click OK. And now it takes me to the edit page, which looks like this. And first thing we want to do, you can see right here, is the title of our form. We called it test form. And then where it says form description, this is an optional place where you can put some additional information. For example, let's say I want to say, please complete the form by Friday. And I could put a date if I had a deadline on when I wanted the form completed by. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to start entering my questions. So you can see you've got question title, help test, text, excuse me, and question type. So for the question title, let's say, for example, the first thing I want is I want to put what is the person's name. And for help text, maybe I want to say, please include first and last name. The help text is not required, but it can be a nice way to give some additional information. Now the question type, you have multiple options. You can see it defaults here with multiple choice. But if you click here, you can see you can have text, paragraph choice, multiple choice, and so on. And if I click one of these, it'll show you right here kind of what the user would see. So if text would be something like that, paragraph text is going to give a larger area for typing, multiple choice would do that, and so on. Now for name, I'm going to go ahead and choose text so they can type their name in there. I want that to be a required question, so I'm going to click Done. And you can see by scrolling up, there is my first question. Now if I want to add another question, I'm just going to go right down here and I'm going to click Add Item. So if I scroll down again, here is another question that it has created for me. Now for the second question, maybe I want to say, what is your favorite subject. And I'm going to leave the help text blank for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and make this one a multiple choice question. So I'll say social studies, science, math. Let me scroll up so you can see this. Language arts. And since I'm at the middle school level right now, I'll go ahead and say PE and exploratory. And I also want to make this a required question. And I'll click done. 
and now when I scroll back up you can see that I have the name of my form, my help text, and I have the two questions that I have created. In the next video I'm going to show you how you can further edit and customize your form.